Well, on this one, dear viewer, what is a video but a series of pictures? It's not a trick question. That's genuinely what a video is. It's a series of pictures. Wait, what's the minimum number of images required to make a video? Like, is two images a video? If no, is it three? Weigh in on that one in the comments. In recent years, the AI boom came out of nowhere. What are you playing with, Mia? Ping pong ball. It started with AI images, at first novel and janky, and now they're nearly perfect. AI videos were the next hottest thing, and still one of the hardest things to get right. In July 2024, I made a video testing out the new video AI that surprise dropped, Kling AI. Fast forward to now, and Kling sent little old me an email. They said, Hey, Green Skull, if you talk about our new update, we'll send you so many hats, you won't know what to do with them. I said, I said, no. I don't want to reveal what my answer was. I didn't say, no. No, they didn't send me hats. I just have a lot of hats. Look at these though, these are sweet. But Kling is in fact sponsoring this video. I'm gonna be transparent with you guys, as I always do, and that's how we roll here. I can't tell you how many sponsorships I turn down. If I'm not interested in it or it just doesn't fit the channel, no, it's not gonna happen. But sometimes it actually does make a lot of sense, and this is one of those cases. So while this video is sponsored, you can trust that I had full creative control to showcase a tool I actually use. Kling is genuinely a great tool to have in the AI tool belt. And I'm all about competition because it drives innovation. Kling just released their new models. Under the umbrella of Kling AI 2.0, we have a new image model called Colors 2.0 and a new video model called Kling 2.0 Master. The update to Colors 2.0 is all about improving three key points, control, quality, and versatility. This is their claim, but is it true? Let's find out. A powerful image model is key to a powerful video model. As you can see, you create images as you'd expect. You type in a prompt, choose things like aspect ratio, and you can now choose high res. And wham bam, you've got yourself an image. Something I think is actually pretty clever here is it has built in DeepSeek. So DeepSeek is a quite powerful LLM. You can type in whatever you want for a prompt, but if you tell DeepSeek the prompt you're looking to make, DeepSeek can make it better. So now you're not just typing things and making an image, you are interfacing. You're having a conversation to make an image. It sends you something, you just press use, and it's there. It's so handy. It's great. And you can use it in a bunch of different places. All of this combined gives you a ton of control, and the latest model is really built to it ear to that language. Restyle is a new feature, and this one is always fun. We had this character I generated before. How about anime? How about pixel art? I love AI pixel art, man. It always looks so good. Watch out. You might, your shoulders, your has a toasty shoulder. Now she's a pharaoh. Turn that into a video. Sick. Love to see it. Yes, queen. Queen, right? Is it queen Cleopatra? Must be, right? Yes, said it wrong for some reason. Video game style, I just made it so cinematic. Whoa, mildly like the main character out of control. Comic book, vibes. Realistic office professional. Yeah, wow, wowee. You can also use image editing to quickly make some changes. In paint, use a prompt. You can put something there, make a change. You can also expand. You have over 60 styles to play with, and of course, sky's the limit, right? Like, talk to DeepSeek, make something cool. Now, video AI. <clears throat> I put Kling 2.0 Master through its paces. It performed well. Slow, basic movements are increasingly easy to achieve with video AI models, but complex motion, camera movement, realistic motion, much tougher. So after testing this for many days, I made some pretty sweet generations that, yeah, impressed me. It functions in mostly the same way as image generation does. You've got text to video, write your prompt, use DeepSeek to help. I, I love that, I genuinely love that. It gives you hints to inspiration and you can put negative prompts. Don't underestimate negative prompts. They could seriously go a long way, I promise. And you you can always ask DeepSeek for help there. Usually you can get a set of negative prompts that you start with on a lot of things. You'll really hone in your style that way. For the new model, they really focused on improving visual aesthetics and especially visuals that are more cinematic. And that definitely comes through. It gets pretty complex prompts. This one, for instance, a woman in an orange jumpsuit jumps through a glowing portal. The camera follows her through the portal as she explores the hilarious chaotic world on the other side 
she laughs. Like, come on. That's so good. That's like, that's exactly what I wanted. Everything about that. Yeah, that's hilariously chaotic. She's laughing. The camera followed her through the portal. <laughs> it's really good. I also had this one that I really liked before I added the laugh. And there's a lot to focus on here. Again, there's this cinematic feel about it that I really like. But just pay attention to the actions of this character. The movement, right? It's grounded. It's not zany. She's not losing limbs. Look as when she spins, how her jacket moves, how the backpack moves, how her hair moves. The hair movement? is kind of crazy. That consistency is so impressive. Like, there's so much to take in. You just want to make crazy prompts just to see all the stuff you can cram in there. Of course, I tried some fun stuff like the funniest thing. You never know what you're going to get with a prompt that simple. Uh, the funniest thing is allegedly this man, a uh, bit of a bit of a beer gut with a walking cane in a market. I'm not certain why this is the funniest thing. AI knows something we don't. Of course, I always got to try it. Glubo, a globe that I can't even be mad. How how accurate is that globe? To my untrained eye, it's not bad. Hey, remember when AI couldn't get hands right? This was also Glubo, a dude reading a book. Wait, oh, wait. Oh, I just know. I, sw I swear until filming this, I never noticed this. There is a globe over there. This is a learned man. The happiest grandpa flying a plane, sips a cola, and winks at the camera before doing a barrel roll. Deep Seek helped with this one, a rugged pirate. Again, the camera angle, like it understands this movement. It's very cool. And that's just text to video. You can also use image to video, throw an image in there, throw a prompt in there, and baby, you're cooking. I'm personally quite fond in general of image to video because you can really hone in what you're looking for, at least as the starting frame, right? And then explore from there. A feature on Kling that particularly interests me is the multi elements editor. With the elements editor, you can add up to four images and mash them all together. It's actually really cool. And the multi elements editor, you can modify an existing video. So I have this video and you know what? I don't want this person in it anymore. You select them, give it the prompt, delete person from reference video. They're gone. That is powerful. That's got legs. That's very cool. That's just deleting. Deleting is fun and all. You can also add things like this purple monster to this scene. What's crazy here is if you look closely, the dude's arm casts a shadow on the monster. That's awareness, man. And you can also swap. Swap is is my favorite. It's really fun. We had what is the funniest thing. You know, it'd be funnier to me, though. Not just a regular dude. I want to imagine that uh, Cleopatra time jumped. You know, imagine Cleopatra in this market scene. Well, you know what to do. Select, describe. Now it is Cleopatra with the cane. And it like somehow makes more sense. Can we just, can we take a minute? That's so impressive. All these people are like, this is just like a cosplayer, man. I'm, I'm sick of these cosplayers. You bow down. That is Queen Cleopatra. She's a babe, man. Cleopatra's a babe. I'm, I'm sick of not saying it. I'm, I'm getting sick of not saying it. Why aren't we admitting that? Now it should be noted that the multi-elements editor uses cling 1.6. It doesn't take away from the novelty of it. And of course, these things continue to improve at a parabolic rate. It's absolutely wild watching this tech emerge and seeing it grow. And we're living in history, right? Right now, this is history. We're here for it. Things will be written of this time that we're living through. We are we're generating Cleopatra in places she doesn't belong. What a, it's incredible. <laughs> if all this is up your alley and you want to try Kling, they graciously provided me with a link that will give you 10% off for the annual plan. Link is in my description. Clickety click. Genuinely helps a lot. So go have some fun. Happy generating. I hope you enjoyed me messing around with this tool. Hope you learned some things. I'm Green Skull. You're a human or a bot. Thanks for watching.